Hi. I am X39J. I would like to introduce you to the Kaplan Depth and Complexity model. This model is a way to think deeply about something and not just skim over the surface. Come with me and we will get started. I bet you didn't know I could fly. Here we go. The Kaplan model is made of 11 pictures. Each one will help us go deeper into our topic. The first icon is a pair of lips. It stands for the language of the discipline. This means, what specialized vocabulary or tools are used to study a particular topic. If you were a doctor, what special words would you use? You might use X-ray, prescription, diagnosis, or maybe injection. The second icon is a flower. It stands for details or the parts of something. You have to look very closely to see the details in your topic just like you would have to look closely to find the 14 horses here. The next icon stands for patterns. Patterns are when something happens again and again. What patterns do you see in this picture? I see a lot of squares and rectangles in the colors blue and orange. This icon shows three question marks. It stands for unanswered questions. When you look at this picture, what questions come to mind? For example, why is there a deer on the coach? Or why isn't the dog barking? Ask yourself what unanswered questions do you have about your topic? The fifth icon shows a picture of what we call a tree map. It stands for the rules we must follow or how something is classified. For example, when you are solving an addition problem, what are the rules you must follow? Ask yourself what rules apply to your topic. Let's pause and review. So far we have talked about language of the discipline, details, patterns, unanswered questions, and rules. You will go deeper into your topic if you ask yourself if there are any specialized vocabulary words in my topic, what patterns do I see? What questions do I still have about my topic, are there any rules that must be followed, and what are the details or parts of my topic? The sixth icon is a black and white diamond. It stands for ethics or the good and bad, pros and cons of something. Do you see anything wrong with what the girl in the picture is doing? She is cheating. This would be an ethical issue. Are there any ethical issues related to your topic? The next icon is a clock. It stands for how something changes over time. These two pictures show how cell phones have changed over time. Isn't it funny that the first cell phone weighed almost 5 pounds? The graph in this icon stands for trends. This is a combination of patterns and change over time. Take a look at the outfits in this picture. Over time what is considered cool to wear changes. These are trends. The ninth icon shows three shapes connected by a dotted line. It stands for across the disciplines. This means how does something in math or history connect to science or language arts? 
Take a computer for example. How might an artist use it as compared with a historian or an author? The next icon stands for different perspectives. It is my favorite. Different perspectives means we must look through someone else's eyes to see what they see. Let's take a hamburger for example. How might a vegetarian see this hamburger? They would not like it at all. What about a cow? They would be shocked that someone would eat their cousin. What about a baby? What would a baby think about this hamburger? They probably wouldn't even know what it was. Think about how other groups would see your topic. Older? Younger? From different countries? The president? Your pet? We have just one more icon to talk about. The pillars in the temple stand for the big ideas. Let's look at social studies for example. What are the big ideas in social studies? We learn about different cultures, the branches of government, and how people deal with conflict. Ask yourself what the big ideas are when people study your topic. We have now talked about all 11 icons. Hopefully these icons will guide you in your quest to think more deeply and critically. It was nice talking with you today. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.